this is Valerie Aiello, and you're listening to Idea Diary. Thanks for coming back to my office and hanging out. So today I've been feeling, or I've been realizing that I've been feeling a little bit stressed about not being able to, or not having my house sell as fast as I wanted it to. So I've just been kind of in that, I'm in that kind of period of we put it on the market and I was feeling really positive and it was going to sell any minute to, all right, it's going to take some time to now it's in that phase of, okay, this, we need a new plan possibly, or some sort of new strategy. And I'm starting to feel like a little bit out of control of my own destiny, which is not something I normally feel. So I'm having that feeling of all my money's tied up in real estate feeling, I think some people have. I'm feeling a lack of freedom, which I don't normally feel because I'm used to just doing whatever I want, kind of things unfolding however I want them to and being very lucky in some way. But now I'm just kind of trying to figure out, okay, how can I lift up my resonance and kind of create the reality shift that I want to happen? What do I need to do? And part of the reason why I feel like I'm in some sort of limbo as far as what direction is my fate or can I manifest my destiny? I really am kind of open to whatever outcome could be happening as far as where it goes to selling a property and kind of picking anywhere to live. I know that I'm definitely going to downsize to the point of whatever I could buy fully in cash so that I'm not ever in a mortgage situation that feels a little bit more, I feel like I have a little bit less control being in a mortgage than if I were to just own a property that the only responsibility I would have would be to pay property taxes. So I'm definitely into downsizing. And since downtowns don't exist anymore, and there's no reason to be in any sort of location, except for if you have internet access or not, I'm kind of open to getting a little further out. And I'm just open in general to a new experience. I still want to live in Austin, or at least in the outskirts of Austin, because I want to be around friends and family. But I don't really have a specific vision of exactly what I want, because I kind of want to see where life takes me at this moment. So anyway, I'm feeling a little bit out of control of my own destiny, which feels hard. And on the same token, I feel like I'm going through a test, a sort of quantum physics test with my mind. I need a figure I feel like I need to solve this problem, but at the same time, there's a win-win-win thing that needs to happen. So a win for me, getting the price that we all want, a win for the person buying it, the property that they're going to have fun and do whatever they want to do with the property, and just overall the universe, that everything's just kind of flowing and everything's happy and everything's amazing. So I'm, I'm just feeling a little bit out of control. And normally, I'm cool with that. But at this point, I'm starting to get a little bit down. Because I feel like I want something to happen. I'm being very impatient in my in my mind. And so I'm trying to figure out, how can I remove the impatient feeling? What can I change? How can I have a resonance shift to feeling calm? feeling happy, feeling like everything's unfolding how I want it to instead of this unknown feeling of kind of a little bit of anxiety. So that's what I'm kind of dealing with today is what can I do to make more joy, to feel more relaxed, to feel like things are moving along, to feel like I'm creating something positive instead of feeling like I'm in limbo and I'm really not in control because that's the reality of selling a property. I feel like I have really good plans and a really good mindset for the next step of what I do with the money, but it's just this in-between phase of of the unknowns. It's driving me crazy. Plus, I was listening to a video earlier today and they were talking about the ego and the ego will totally sabotage you even if you're not right. If your ego thinks that you are right. It will do anything to survive. And being right is a part of survival. 
uh, you know, part of our ancient human survival methods is to use the ego to rationalize anything insane to be right. So I'm trying to let go of whatever it is to be right. I know in my heart I need a win-win-win situation. I know that it's probably going to happen. It's just my, I'm trying to let go of expectations that there's a certain timeline because everything can unfold perfectly and it could unfold perfectly tomorrow. So I am just having one of those days of what's the test? What's the solution to feel calm and peace and comfort and to feel like everything's on a roll and I just need to be patient and I need to release whatever ideas and time frames that I have in my head and just be happy today, no matter what. Because ultimately, ultimately, if you're alive and you're healthy and things are moving along and things are great in a lot of other ways or just in general, if things are fine, that's probably a lot better than most people are dealing with, with lives falling apart and things crashing. So if it's just about being patient and trying to find the joy in this moment of unknown, I guess that's not such a bad problem to have. However, it is a high anxiety moment and I'm trying to figure it out. If anyone has any suggestions of how to get over the anxiety of when your house is not selling, I would really like to know. So contact me on your favorite way to contact me at ValerieAlo.com. But yeah, that's one of the main things I've been working on today. I did sign up for Starlink notifications. So that is the Elon Musk internet service that is supposed to be high speed internet using satellites. And it's supposed to be basically bringing internet to the tops of mountains, to the middle of the ocean, just anywhere. You can now live anywhere you want in the world with this like super new high speed internet. But they're just in a beta phase. And I believe it's $100 a month. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's what I've been hearing. So I feel like maybe that's what I've been waiting for is to be able to get into the Starlink beta internet program. And that's going to open up so many options of wherever I end up living next. I'm just trying to think on the bright side, trying to be happy today, even if things never change, and keeping it upbeat because it Ultimately, things are pretty awesome, and I'm here creating new stuff every single day. Hopefully, you are too. We are entering into the new creative renaissance with no gatekeepers, and even though the rules of how everything's going to work out and how everyone can make it happen, it's kind of unknown. Things are changing, and they're changing for the positive for humans, so we just got to get through this like weird period of figuring it all out and have fun and stay positive while we're doing it. I guess that's the message of the show today. Hopefully you're having a nice weekend out there. Thanks so much for listening if you are. And I guess that's the show for today. I still don't know how to end the show, but I almost do. So in the meantime, I'm just going to play the music.